Okay, so say there is a milk and water solution where the ratio of milk and water is 3 is to 2 and the volume of the solution is increased by 10% by adding say pure milk. Okay, you can of course do this question by the scale method. The rate of milk is 3 by 5. The rate of pure milk would be 1 by 1 or you can make it 5 by 5 and uh, the volume was increased by 10 percent that means in 10 liters of the solution one liter was added that means the ratio is 10 is to 1 convert that ratio into 1 is to 10 and you will get your answer by this method okay uh, but let's say the same process was done once more you'll have to do the scale once more but there are better ways to do this kind of a question where only the volume is being increased by adding either pure milk or uh, or just water okay so say the same question there is a milk and water solution where the ratio is 3 is to 2 and its volume is increased by 10 percent by adding uh, say water right so uh, instead of going for the scale let's go for very basic ratio understanding we had initially a milk by total and I'm going for total and milk by total because water is being added that means milk is not going to change in the process water will change milk quantity would remain the same right so initially the ratio was milk by total now the volume has been increased by 10 percent that means what has happened is that total has been multiplied by 11 by 10 yes because the total was initially t now it has been increased by 10 percent so t plus 10 percent of t which is water is being added to it so you you're going to get 11 by 10 t right so total has become increased by 10 percent and milk has not changed however this 11 by 10 is in the denominator this will come up that means overall the multiplying factor for this milk by total ratio is 10 by 11 or you can say uh, the milk percentage has become 10 by 11 okay so in this case we had 3 by 5 as milk by total and we have increased so I know this was getting multiplied by 11 by 10 and this would become 10 by 11 so I would get 30 by 55 as my milk by total this is the new ratio of course I can convert this into the percentage form also okay uh, stop in the same question uh, if the data had been the volume has been increased by let's say 20 percent by adding pure milk then I would have gone for water by total why because uh, milk is being added but water quantity is not going to change in this situation so what is happening in this process is the total is becoming 6 by 5 and water would remain the same the overall multiplying factor would become 5 by 6 now I have water by total as 2 by 5 my multiplying factor would be 5 by 6 this new number this new number whatever this is is going to give me water by total once i have water by total i can find out water is to milk or milk is to water or milk is to total also for the new solution i could have done the same thing by the scale also but of course this is going to be far more convenient and we are building up to another concept of removal and replacement we'll just do in the next few problems stop There is this whole another category of questions which is called removal and replacement and what happens in the question is uh, our solution is given with some milk and water configuration. Some percentage is removed from the solution. It is taken away. So say 10% is removed from the solution and the same amount or in some cases maybe more is put back in water or in milk form. And then again this process repeated. So again 10% is removed and again some amount is put back. Maybe it is done three times, four times and uh, so if you do it by the scale method for each of these operations we will have to make a scale. But we will see uh, how we can eliminate the scale method and how just focusing on the ratio will give us answers very very quickly. Okay, So say 
let's look at first uh, uh, let's look at our shortcut first or understanding it in numbers basis say you start with pure milk 100 liters of milk is there okay and you remove 10 percent from it and you put back water because there will be no point in putting milk back because there is already milk, right? And you put back the same amount of water. You remove 10% of it and you put the same amount of water. So removing 10% would mean you would make it 90 liters of milk. And so and 10 liters of milk has been thrown away. 10 liters of milk has been thrown away. Same 10 liters of water is put back. So 10 liters of water. So if you look at it, what was happening is initially the milk percentage was 100%. After this process has been executed, the milk percentage is 90%, right? So, we can, can we think that when I remove and replace by 10%, the milk percentage is reducing by 10% straight away, okay? Let's, let's do that again, okay? And then let's see what will happen. So, now I have this, this configuration. Again, I want to remove 10% of 10% of 100 liters would still be 10 liters. But in this 10 liters, milk and water would be in the ratio 9 is to 1. That would mean 9 milk and 1 water is being removed. So what you will get is 81 milk and 1 water would go away. So you would get 9 milk, 9 water, but 10 water would come again. So you would get 19 water or you could have just calculated 100 minus 81 gives you 19. So now the milk percentage after the second 10% operation has become 81%. So again, this 9, 9% but 9% over a base of 90 means in this milk percentage there is a 10% reduction too. Yeah. So this is not a, this is a 9% yes in quantity but overall percentage change is how much? 10%. When 90 is reduced by 10% you get 81. If you remove the percentage for example and you just look at 90 and 81 as a number you see there is a 10% drop. So one idea would be very simple if this process is being executed so whatever milk percentage you will have will be reduced by 10%. If you remove again by 10% and replace with water again it will be reduced by 10% and you can keep doing it. So once you get the idea from, these, from this empirical data. Uh, you can start applying it in a process form that let's start with milk by total because you know this represents the milk percentage and mul start multiplying it by a multiplying factor which represents a 10%. This has been reduced by 10%. If 10% is removed and replaced again, this was my new milk percentage, right? This represented my capital milk and capital total. This is being reduced by 10% again. So put another 9 by 10, right? If you put 100 here, and check by 9 by 10 you get 90 and then you get 81 and then you get 72 point something okay so so i can extend this process so one multipliers uh, appear once again they since multipliers fact multiplying factors represent ratios and percentage information they will appear everywhere over and over again so you better get comfortable with that idea okay so but this 100 liters of milk uh, was easy right to comprehend let's try a milk and water ratio of 3 is to 2 and 3 is to 2 and we'll take 100 liters because it makes thinking easy for us so this would be 60 liters of milk and it would be 40 liters of water right 10 percent is removed once again 10 liters is removed in that 10 liters also it will be in the ratio 3 is to 2 which should mean 6 liters and 4 liters so in the configuration after a change it would be 56 liters of milk you know water is going to come back so it's going to be 46 liters of water or 4 liters was removed that means 36 liters of water and then 10 liters came so 46 liters of water so 56 uh, uh, sorry this would be 54 yeah right so you see milk was 60 percent earlier and now it has become 54 percent there is a 10 percent drop in this number there is a 6 by 60 drop which would mean 1 by 10 which would mean 10 percent right so uh, if i understand this here happening yes i know it will happen so now i can extend the idea let me start by milk by total as milk by total as 3 by 5 10% was removed and replaced, so I'll multiply it by 9 by 10. This becomes my new milk by total. This was again exposed to the same process. 10% was removed and replaced with water. That means multiplied by another 9 by 10. 
say this was done one more time apply it with one more 9 by 10 so this will give you the overall milk new milk by total because the total is not really changing you can call it new total also but new total is equal to the total because whatever is removed is replaced no nothing extra is being added okay uh, stop okay uh, what would happen if uh, let's say milk and water is 3 is to 2 first 10% is removed and replaced removed and replaced then 20% is removed and replaced and then let's say 25% is removed and replaced uh, if I follow the same process I start with milk by total 10% was removed and replaced that means a multiplying factor would be 9 by 10 now it doesn't matter right that means you have a new milk and water and new milk by total relationship which is uh, given as 3 by 5 into 9 by 10 after that it is a new question again 20% was removed and replaced that means the multiplying factor would be 4 by 5 20% means 1 by 5 reduction so you know it's going to get reduced by 20% so 4 by 5 now this is your new milk by total again a fresh story 25% is from now from this remove 25% means 1 by 4 removal means 3 by 4 so into 3 by 4 now this final number represents your new milk upon total once again even in this story the total is not changing in the next one we'll try and change the total okay so okay before we go into changing the total let's understand this at a more fundamental just ratio level let's think about milk and total uh, and what is happening in the story is 10 percent of the volume is removed from a vessel 10 percent is removed and the same amount is put back so some amount is removed and the same amount of water is put back okay so what is happening in the process this is not a mathematical equation we're looking at a, a, a gradual step by step process some amount is getting reduced or removed right 10 percent got removed from the total 10 percent got removed 9 by 10 of the total right and in the process milk also we have seen in earlier examples when there was 100 liters 10 percent meant 10 liters when there was 90 liters 10 percent meant 9 liters of milk went away so milk is also getting reduced by 10 percent the milk quantity we put these ratios here right so this will get cancelled and nothing will happen that means if you just remove something from the solution nothing changes in the solution and this we know common sensically also but what is happening is whatever was removed is put back now right but milk is not being put back water is being put back so the total is again becoming total because uh, let's say it was 100 it became 90 and then it became 100 again because 10 liters was put back but milk did not change right so the overall multiplying factor for the process for this change of operation becomes 9 by 10 which is the same thing as earlier but our, our understanding of it is now dependent on straight away looking at the ratio and seeing what is happening in the process right so once i once i start with this to so nine this nine by ten will come down and it'll become nine by ten now this is my new mill by total now if i want to repeat the process i can keep multiplying the factors over and over again so i hope you understand this straight away looking at the core ratio and understanding relationship what we're doing is putting the milk quantity here and total here and seeing what is happening 10 percent means the milk total becomes 9 by 10 and milk also becomes 9 by 10 but the total gets back and, and the total remains t but overall multiplying factor 9 by 10 comes down and becomes 9 by 10 and you can extend this process in a chain also okay stop <coughs> So say you have another milk and water solution with 3 is to 2. Now 10% of it is hot and you have uh, 100 liters of it, quantity is given. And you remove 10 liters from it and replace it with 20 liters of water. So in this case what you remove, what you're putting back is more than what you're removing or the total is also going to change okay. So I will use the ratio form only, milk by total I have. When I remove 10 liters, that means from 100, 10 is getting removed, total becomes 9 by 10 of total, right? And milk will also become 9 by 10 of milk. But 
20 liters of water is put back so when 10 was removed from 100 you had 90 and 20 is put to it 90 plus 20 gives you 110 total is becoming going from 100 to 110 that means the overall multiplying factor after putting back is 11 by 10 for the total right uh, understand total is going from 100 to 110 after all is said and done so the multiplying factor is 11 by 10 for the total now this 10 10 gets cancelled and this overall multiplying factor as you can see becomes 9 by 11 so even if the quantity changes the overall quantity is changing or what is being removed what is being replaced is different from what is being removed it does not make too much of a difference to your process anyway okay so we straight away get into the crux of the matter when we put things in the ratio form which the an idea which we have repeated over and over again in a lot of previous sessions also okay if the process was done again so let's say uh, again now 20 liters was removed and 30 liters was put back okay so now what is happening is 20 is getting removed but now the overall volume had become 110 we'll put this uh, milk by total as 3 by 5 here okay. uh, 100 and, uh, if the total volume has become 110 from 110 20 is being removed 20 out of 110 2 by 11 that means the overall multiplying factor for milk part would be 9 by 11 for the numerator would be 9 by 11 right but for the denominator when you remove 110 20 liters from 110 it becomes 90 and you put back 30 liters it becomes 120 right so overall it is going from this time 110 to 120 so the multiplying factor is 12 by 11 this time so for the denominator the multiplying factor would be 12 by 11 this 11 11 gets cancelled the overall multiplying factor becomes 9 by 12 this milk by total is nothing but this only so therefore the overall multiplying factor is 9 by 12 so the quantity change should not present too much of a problem focus on the ratio and you will have a decent amount of clarity in whatever is happening stop